great example of making the most out of three main chords with some incredible strumming going on. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Southern Cross by Crosby, Stills & Nash. Welcome back to Relax Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is uh, Maggie May. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. We're going to be checking out a little CSN today. So let's get Maggie May settled and get going. So this song does a really good job of using three main open chords. We're going to know an A chord. You'll see me play this one mostly with a kind of a mini bar here. A G. I like playing the G here with four fingers, which includes that ring finger on the second string third fret. The reason I do that is because we're going to move to this D shape next. So in this D shape, we're going to be uh, doing a little embellishment here. You have the D shape here. If you put your pinky down onto the first string third fret, you get a D sus four shape. If you have a D shape and you lift up your middle finger, you get a D sus two shape. And in this song, this is kind of the recurring. You can get a lot of mileage out of that. A little variation of the D sus4 to the D, to the D sus2, and back to the D. So for this intro, which everyone knows, all right, some cool stuff going on here. I'm gonna start on the A chord two down strums and then we're going to kind of just smack our strings with our hand just use the back part of your palm if you like and you're hearing that ch kind of a snare sound it's the sound of the metal strings bouncing off the frets g then that these are all down strums you start with a d sus4 then lift up your pinky to make the d up your middle finger to make the D sus2 and put your middle finger back down to end on the D and then the second time around we're gonna end on an A chord so we start here again so for the intro we get this A G and that D those D shapes A G D shapes now, if I had to choose just one main strum pattern things are kind of built around, it's going to be this. It's a down, 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 up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. For this verse, we're going to be doing the same order. We're going to start here on the A. G. Then that D shape. Now I like ending the phrase with this little, you could just end it right there. I like ending with a little up, down, down, up, down, up to kind of stay in rhythm. So you get this. Up, down, down, up, down, up. Follows the same pattern, alternating ending on a D with ending on an A. Now there is kind of a fourth chord in this song. It's very brief. At the end of the first verses, we have uh, just changes up just a little bit. We're going to go D down on the D. We're going to lift up our index finger, move it over here to the fifth string, second fret, which is a B note. So we're going to go to an A. It's the part uh, it ends with this. Twice you ran away. Then he hangs on this A a little bit before the pre chorus starts. So the pre chorus, sorry, got a little itch in my eye. The pre chorus, we're going to use that same strum pattern down, 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 up, down, up. Only the chord progression changes a bit. Uh, instead of going A, G, and D, we're going to go G, D, G, A. Think about how many times I have fallen. 
again, it's not relaxed and learn how to sing. <laughs> so I'm not going to attempt to get this right with a uh, little Crosby, Stills, and Nash. So for this pre-chorus, we're going to follow that chord progression of G, D, G, A. Does it like three times? And we're going to hang on an A again, just like we went from the verse into the pre-chorus. We're going to hang on to this A and go from the pre-chorus to the chorus. This is the part with the uh, What heaven brought cannot be forgotten Into the chorus I have been around the world Looking for I could literally play that part over and over and over. It's a great song. It is, and this is a bit, this is the payoff. We talk about the chords that are kind of rearranged, still the same three chords. The payoff here really comes from the strum pattern, but the chord progression is just a D, a G, and an A. The strum pattern. Starts on the D with two down strums, two down strums on the G, a little faster than the D. So you have to an A. Now this A gets a little bit of work here on the strumming hand. We have a down and then up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. It sounds weird to say it all out loud like that. <laughs> but if you just kind of watch what I'm doing here. D, G, A. D, G, G, A. Up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Practice that over and over. Then after that cool chorus, they do a really cool thing where they kind of circular and wrap it back around to the intro. So you have that. And you know it will. <laughs> so add that great CSN song to your set list. For some more lessons on some three chord favorites that you will learn to play and folks will love to hear, check out this lesson next. Remember that Vicki, Maggie, and I very much appreciate your views and your support and your comments here on YouTube. It's amazing. And we will see you for the next one. Also remember that you are never too old to learn.